it's a really fun process because it's software and you can do practically anything. And so we really wanted to have great guidelines and great goals and our approach was around you know, making the site the primary content and making it integrate really well with Windows 7. When we looked at what people were doing in the browser, we also looked at how people are using Windows 7 and said, where is their overlap? Where are there places where these can complement each other? And why don't we take advantage of that? It's not something you know, really new that they have to relearn. It just builds off of um, the concepts that you know today. You can now tear out a tab and you can snap it to one side or snap it to the other. Um, the most ex obvious example is pinning sites to the taskbar, and with that you get all the kind of rich functionality that we know people are already using with Windows 7, uh, like jump lists. We saw an early preview of this in the user studies where people were just surprised that you could bring Facebook to your taskbar or Yahoo to your taskbar. So really it's all about um, optimizing around these small amount of behaviors that people do all the time and trying to make them really great. We like to use the term data-informed decision-making in that data is just one of the inputs uh, that goes into any kind of decision uh, that we're going to make about any of our products. It's a very iterative process. Um, we first start off with establishing goals and um, working through lots of different prototypes to see how it achieves those goals and weighing you know, the different prototypes. When we first started doing the design, we, we completely, in our minds, completely stripped everything away except for the website. And then from there, started to add things back in that we thought were essential. We tried to map a little bit better to Windows 7 using the, the toned down glass frame to put all of the controls on. And so what this allowed us to do was create this kind of monochromatic effect. Some filmmakers use like black and white for most of their shots or a sepia, and then we'll bring in a little bit of color to, to highlight something. So we really looked at doing using that kind of technique in the glass. And what, what happens is the effect is that it actually stands back almost on the, the Z axis, and the site kind of pops forward. Uh, for pin sites, you'll see that the back button takes on the color of the site's branding and that the site's icon will show there, so it feels even more uh, like a closer relationship with that site. And so this little site icon actually acts as a home button. It's a common concept that people understand on the web. You kind of click in the upper left on the brand, and that's how you go home. One of the reasons why we put everything on one line was actually to reduce the visual distraction of having multiple lines of UI. We tried a few different arrangements when we, when we put the, the whole thing on glass. So we had the monochromatic feel, we had some very simple icons that didn't have a lot of color or, or dimension to them so that everything would rest back. But when we, whenever we tried to move things into different layers, it started to distract from the site itself. Technically, we do have a smaller pixel count than the other browsers. When we were designing, we didn't think about that. We didn't think about the pixel count. Uh, what we were trying to do was get the best effect for making sites just come to the forefront. But we wanted to make something that was more in the service of today's web, which is richer, uh, which is faster, which is just more expansive than the web was uh, back then and with investments like hardware accelerated graphics and performance coming at it from multiple different dimensions and our commitment around interoperability, it's really about bringing sites to the center. You want it to feel like it's part of the OS and that it's an extension of that um, and that it complements it and makes it better, not that it's this separate experience that you have to then go learn.